what is up guys good morning good morning or good afternoon whenever you're watching this happy saturday or whatever day of the week it is it's 6 24 in the morning i slept in i have not really slept in like that he's in here with me right now and he won't move and he's right near my sewing table this is continuation of like the last vlog, but I'm going to try to vlog as much as I can today because I have some stuff going on. Plus, my husband is going to be taking the kids over to his family's for a little bit. They're having a get together. I have too much crap that I need to get done. So I am going to hang back and do some stuff. The plan for today... I don't know how many I'm going to be able to go and get, but the plan for today, I need to get the rest of these daisy dresses out, three daisy dresses, my Rush Cowboy set, which that's not going to be an issue, but um, yeah, I'm going to try to rent a U-Haul today and go pick up some free furniture, so I want to... uh. I want to look at um flipping a couple pieces so that is the goal today we're gonna see there's so much free furniture in my area it's ridiculous so we're going to do that i was hoping the one woman would message me back she has this really cool freaking uh desk this one girl has a buffet table it's a little bit broken but i checked with jake and i was like can you fix this like can we you know wood glue brad nail whatever we would need to do and then kind of like fill it in because i almost went and got a i'm just gonna start the embroidery machine and then i'll stop talking but I literally almost went and tried to do it this way. It's not a very good angle, sorry, but I almost went and got a job. I was messaged about a bartending job, so I was like, okay, you know, extra money will help right now because Gage is like begging to go back to school. Tui just had that crazy vet bill, so did Ragnar. And I say back to school. We started him in preschool last year when he was two. And I had just had Averlyn. He did not. He did well. But when it came to actually like leaving me. He did not want to. So I had to literally fight to get him to go to school. And then picking him up. He didn't want to leave. Because they were always at the playground or something. So then I had to fight with him and get him in the car. And it was just... It was stressful. Then we were talking about moving. So we were like, you know what? Hopefully you guys can still hear me. But we were talking about moving. So we were like, yeah, you know, we'll just end up pulling him, right? Well... Now he wants to go back because of the playground. So he's three this year and I was just gonna do homeschooling. He's very smart. I'm gonna stop that real quick. He's very smart. He knows all of his animals, all of his shapes, all of his colors. He's counting, can count clearly to like 20 and then he's starting to count over that of course my postpartum is horrible i'm losing so much hair um count he's you know putting words in sentences just all that stuff he's doing really really good so <clears throat> but that's also too because we sit and we work with him constantly and Aerylin's already starting to talk and say stuff and let you know what she wants and i mean she just turned 15 months so i do work with my kids but anyways, Gage wants to go back to school and he wants to go to the beach. And he looks at me and he goes, Mom, please, beach, sweats, or wetsuit? And I'm like, 
oh my god it just kills me so i was gonna look at getting a bartending job to just start like help putting up the money for that so like i don't know but needless to say i didn't take it so i was like you know what i see all these people flipping these furnitures and i know i can do it so hopefully on top of that plus hopefully with the business picking back up i think we'll be good but you never know life's crazy right now so but i'm going to finish my coffee i'm gonna finish these dresses and finish that and get on the western set and hopefully today too i'm gonna try to edit all of the fucking footage part of my french that i have that i've not been able to get to edit i probably have about four videos that i could do right now that i need to get edited so we're gonna see how this goes today mm. Mm. All right, I'm gonna get to work. Thought that you should know I've been going solo Want my love, baby, earn it Yeah Dancing on my own See if you can follow Got me feeling alive Watch me go That did not sound right anyways. This is how my days go. So it is now 7.30. As you guys can see, Gage woke up, came up me, I sat with him for a little bit. And then Averlyn just woke up. She's not very cuddly in the morning. She likes to just kind of drink her milk and watch her bubble guppies. And literally about the only person she will cut cuddle is Gage in the morning. So, I got her a milk and working on filming a TikTok. So, still, uh oh, okay, baby, hold on one second. Even though his blanket is right by him, he would rather me put his blanket on. silly boy but anyways I'm gonna get this daisy dressed on and then I'm going to work on the cowboy set just so I can definitely have that done and out early I'm gonna see Jake has to be at his family's thing at two and I need to run to UPS today too. So 
going to be return still that sewing machine that we had gotten Averlyn. It was full of rust and I need to get her a new one which I'll probably get for Christmas or here soon but I've been looking on Marketplace too because I want to get a little um like table or little like stand and I'm going to make it into a little sewing table for her so this way she can sit by me and kind of have her own little thing you know what I mean I think she'll actually really like that I was joking with Jake because she's already has an obsession with fabric as you guys will see in the wind video it made her a dress out of the one fabric she would not leave alone well yesterday I took the time and I made her baby doll because she's finally playing with a baby doll and not just dinosaurs um I made her baby doll a matching matching dress so this way and of course she got blue lollipop on her dress already and it's white she can't wear white but, yeah I don't think most kids really can wear white without getting something on it but you know all right Yesterday ended up lots of changes happened. So my husband didn't end up taking the kids. Um, he ended up not going. His eye was hurting him. He was gonna go to the emergency room. Um, that stuff. But he ended up instead of me renting a U-Haul van because I was going to, but a couple other pieces like fell through. So he just went and picked up the um, buffet table for me. So I haven't even looked at it yet because he no sooner got home and we ended up starting to have severe storms <laughs> come through. Um, a couple tornadoes touched down around us. So I about peed myself because I looked outside the one time and right above us there's some clouds going this way and other clouds going this way. So I started to freak out thinking holy crap this is happening but luckily it moved and I guess my mom was saying on the news that it did pick up a like rotation or circular movement above where we live so I don't know. Maybe we just got lucky. But I am, it's the next day, it's Sunday. I got 
all my stuff done except for one daisy dress which is fine it doesn't have to go out to the 16th but i'm gonna end up getting that done today another outfit and then last night after um the storms had hit they hit pretty late so we let the kids stay up while i worked on some shirts some sublimation shirts and i didn't film any of it so right now i'm going to edit these videos because i have one two three four and this will be the fifth one so i have five no one two three four five this will be the sixth one seven seven i have seven but anyways yeah i am gonna get this stuff caught up with probably gonna take me a couple hours and then i will show you guys what i sublimated last night so Stick around.